everyone. Today I am reorganising the kitchen to make the space feel a little bit more functional. I also find that whenever I do start an organisation task, I fall a little bit more in love with the area that I'm pouring some extra TLC into and I start to feel that much more grateful for that area of my home. So it is something that I love to do every so often. When we moved into our first apartment, we actually did some renovations, one of which was actually installing a new kitchen. Now, because we decided to put the kitchen in this corridor area, we chose not to have cupboards along the top and actually have shelves instead to make the space feel a lot more open. But what it does mean is that we have to keep things really organized because we sacrificed quite a lot of storage. So all of the underneath storage in our kitchen, it means we need to make the very most of that in order to make sure that there is space for all of our stuff. So if you also have a kitchen on the smaller side, I hope that these tips and ways in which I organize my kitchen and pour little bits of extra love into it are helpful for you. I absolutely swear by the Superhuman app. They have loads of different categories of meditation and the cleaning section is absolutely perfect for today to help me get in the right mindset while I organize. I've just received a restock of my favorite remedy kombucha in the raspberry lemonade flavor. And I've also ordered some storage containers, which I'll be using to help add some structure to my fridge. look in the container already. Okay, now let's tackle the fridge. I like to clear out my fridge about once a week. My first big tip with all organisation projects is to take everything out, clean and then organise. My second tip is that a huge part of organisation is about measuring spaces. Get yourself a measuring tape and find out which size containers work best for your space. Here I basically have a dedicated tray for roast dinner condiments, which is so cute, I absolutely love it. When it comes to our fridge, I know that having everything organised to the nth degree would never work for us. We need a space to be able to chuck our midweek leftovers in when things get busy. But I am so happy with the decision to put our condiments into those trays and the rest of the fridge is just looking so much cleaner and more organised. We keep our veg at the bottom, all of our condiments in the middle and I just love how easy these are to pull out. It's so good. I absolutely love it. We also keep our leaves like our spinach and our kale along the top shelf. No matter how hard I try, whenever I put them into a drawer, it just always shorten their shelf life. But that is it with the fridge and I am so happy with it. It looks so much more organized. Now on to teas and coffees. My boyfriend absolutely loves his coffee. So I am just refilling this really cute container from Starbucks. And we like to keep anything that we grab several times a day on our main shelves to make it super easy. And honestly, these shelves stay so organized. I never have any trouble with these. This is the cupboard where we keep any glasses that don't go on display and mugs and tea. I don't drink coffee, but I am a bit tea obsessed. So I have ordered some containers to store my herbal teas. Once again, when it comes to organization, I take absolutely everything out so I can give the area a good wipe down and a clean and then look at the space and plan how I want to organize it before I put everything back. containers are absolutely the perfect size for tea bags. They were such good value for money and they fit really perfectly into the cupboard. My favorite three teas, if you're interested, are three ginger, three mint and turmeric active.
look how cute these two bags look all in a row in their lovely containers. I never want to risk over buying things or having containers just for the sake of it. So I like to start with just a few and then I can always order more. In this case though, I think I will definitely order another three of these for my boyfriend's instant coffee and our breakfast teas because they just work so well in the space. In this cupboard, the top shelf is for all of the protein powder and Huel supplements. I've given this a quick tidy, but for the most part, I leave this shelf for my boyfriend to use as he likes. Giving him a dedicated space to make a mess of works pretty well for us. The next area that I'm tackling is under the sink. I have organized this a bit before and having tried a few different ways, having a catch-all container works best for us. The main trick here is not overflowing the space and keeping any backstop products somewhere else. So I'm just tidying up the pieces and removing any extra sponges or cloths that really don't need to be in here at the moment. really happy with how this looks it's such a tiny space and that little bit of extra on the edge is perfect for our dog treats we don't have a dog but we wish we did but for any visiting dogs our dog treats and our dustpan and brush as well I also wanted to give you a really quick look at our under the counter cupboards if you aren't renting and have flexibility on your kitchen design I could not recommend these shelf slash drawer things enough they provide so much space and have been so, so easy to keep organized. And now for my absolutely favorite part, adding some touches of luxury to your space. Luxury does not have to be expensive. For me, it's just adding something that is technically unnecessary, but puts a smile on your face and feels like a treat. I got this gorgeous cake stand from Ikea for 12 pounds and it has little flower engravings all over the base and it's so cute it deserves to be filled. So I am going outside in the sunshine to pick up some bits. There is no better place than a charity shop for vases and trinkets that are super affordable, but feel really lovely. got these three items all for under four pounds each. I cannot believe how perfect this daisy bowl is for going on the cake stand. I also popped to the bakery and got some biscuits to put into my new bowl and some flowers to add to my new vase. This little area makes me so happy, I can't tell you, and it's such a perfect cherry on top of a satisfying organize and clean. 
Next time you take on an organization project, make sure you reward yourself or indulge in a little way. And I guarantee it will make all the difference and turn it from being a chore into something that you actually enjoy and genuinely look forward to. There's absolutely no such thing as perfection when it comes to organization in my eyes. I absolutely love being able to incrementally improve my space over time and I would never want to be able to just click my fingers and make everything flawless because honestly, where is the fun in that? Let me know in the comments if you also love using organization and cleaning as a way to show extra love to your home and making you feel even more grateful for the space that you live in. I am now literally gonna chill out, enjoy my favorite flavor of kombucha. It is the raspberry lemonade by Remedy and I'm absolutely obsessed, as you can probably tell by how much of it went into my fridge. But thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.